Oh, welcome back. I thought I'd give you a quick update for September. Um, we'll start from the front and I'll show you how far I've got. The mud guards, obviously, previous videos, I've actually widened them. They're all done there. That mud guard is sitting on the wheel at the moment. Um, this one is actually set up. I'm pretty, well, I'm pretty convinced that's exactly where it's going to go. Um, what I've done, I've actually um, taped some well, three pieces of wood to the mud, mud guard on the underside and just set it on the tyre. It's all nice and level now, and I think I think that's where it's going to go. Because I like the front of the mud guard up quite higher, but the back down quite low. So all I've got to do now is connect this tube here to that flange there, and the same at the back. So that'd be uh, I'll do that tomorrow. Have a good look at that, and I've come up with a couple of ideas since I've been out here. So I want something that looks really nice. Anyway, we'll, we'll have a look at that tomorrow. So that's how that's my guys done. The way the bracket works, this bracket here is a big piece of plate that goes in there, in there, around the back. It's all fiberglassed in. It's also held in by these four bolts. So obviously the tube's welded to the plate. And out there, there's a pair of flanges. One's tick welded on that side. And that one will just unbolt and give me a bit of movement to try and get this bit of tube to fit it. Uh, Going back from the car, the brakes, believe it or not, I've actually done them. Well, almost done them. The servo, I had aggravation with it and I wasn't sure if it's working properly or not. And I was thinking about sort of the Sierras, now when they first built, they were built for like a family of five and towing a caravan. And I thought, well, there's only two seats in this car, there's no weight in it, so I don't think I need a servo, so I took it out and made this little space apart. Uh, previous video shows will show you how I actually did it, so that's that part. We're going there. That's the front down. Oh, the other bit is that so the brakes are done, the foot pedal's great. Handbrake goes up and down, it feels like it's tension a bit, it's not binding on the on the drums. So I might have to take the drums off and see what's going on in there. Probably just needs adjusting. But I thought I was self adjusting and maybe I'm not maybe I'm not right. Anyway, we will have a quick look at the fender again. Yeah, that's pretty cool though, isn't it? Yeah, I really like that. And uh, the back, I've been just playing around. We're trying to get all this back sorted out. Um, these two pieces of plier, let's get this out of the way. They're actually bolted down at the moment. But what I'm going to do, what I did, I, I sort of cut them, but I cut them over size. And I've got a wood plane, and just plane them all the way down, all the way around. So I've got a nice finish there. And the same on this side. And what I'm going to do, we we'll cover them in some sort of fabric. I'm not sure what yet. I'm going out to um, somewhere in a couple of weeks. There's an air show up there and pistons and props. And they've normally got trade stands up there with selling stuff like that. So I just need a couple of metres of something. Um, eventually, obviously, all this crappy carpet's going to come off. But I'm just leaving it there for the moment. Uh, again, this one is bolted down. And the way I'm going to bolt them down, I'm going to use these eye, bolt, these eye bolts with the bolt from underneath. Um, that bolt there is a bit long at the moment. I thought it would be a good idea if I had not four of them. If I do decide to put anything on the back, even if it's like the wet weather gear or anything, or anything, I can just strap it down and I'll take to tie it down on. Um, the middle section, this piece here, again, I've cut it oversized. So the plan is again, once I hinge it, then I can put a wood plane across the front here and make it nice and flat. Um, I've got some different levels going on here at the moment, so I've got to sort that out. Um, I was going to use like a piano hinge, but I don't know. I thought, well, if you're going to use a hinge, get a hinge that looks nice. So I've ordered some stainless steel um, or boat, boat hinges. They're quite chunky little things, but they look quite nice. So I suppose if you can have something, make a bit of a feature out of it. So the whole, whole idea of this back is going to lift up like that. And inside there, I've got a little box, a little tray that I've made. That's with little tools and there's rubbish building up there already. That little can there, I've had it made, it's, it's just a, well it's not quite a gallon, but it's an extra bit of fuel if I ever need it. And I wish I would have made this box a bit bigger now because I'm wasting a bit of space here, but I'm sure I can do something with that. So that's where we are with that at the moment. Um, I don't think there's anything else. It's just that I've got to try and push this ply down somehow because it's a bit bent up. 
might be the plywood itself actually, I'll check that tomorrow. So all things are just starting to fall in place now, so I haven't got a massive amount to do. So once the hinges come, I can, I know this is a steel under there, under there, I can drill and tap into there. And the hinges, I think about three inches, they come out like that. So it should look quite nice. Then, next milestone really, clutch works, brakes work, throttle works. Is the handbrake. The lever, the lever and the mechanism there, I'm quite happy with that's fine. I think it's just got to be on the on the drums there somewhere. They're probably not adjusting. So unless I fitted them wrong. Anyway, that's pretty much it at the moment. Oh, pretty look at the my god, that's pretty cool. Thanks for coming back. See you again shortly. Bye now.